Okay, so welcome to this uh, presentation. I just want to run through how I use PowerPoint to do my video lessons. I'm using PowerPoint with a tool called Screencastify. And you'll notice up in the right hand corner of my browser, there is a logo that looks like an arrowhead with a red circle for like a recording circle. That is the Screencastify extension into my Google Chrome browser. And it allows me to screen record anything in my browser. So I'm using PowerPoint in the web with Screencastify to record this. Now, something else that we can notice here is that Screencastify has its own toolbar down here. And I'm using the Screencastify um, pencil right now. Uh, the thing about the Screencastify pencil is it allows me to write anywhere on the screen. So if I'm instructing uh, students or teachers how to use a piece of software, it allows me to write someplace that uh, the PowerPoint pens would not allow me to write. So if I take this blue, I got to switch from my Screencastify pen to my mouse if I want to select something. So now when I tap this blue pen with the Microsoft Draw menu, I can draw inside of my slides, but I can't draw outside of my slides. You see how the line stopped and I couldn't go beyond that. So the PowerPoint pens are meant for your presentation. The Screencastify pens are meant to mark up your screen. Now, watch what happens when I go from this slide to the next slide. My Screencastify ink is still all over the place. So that is why for my presentation, I would use the PowerPoint pens. If I were doing tech instruction, I would use the Screencastify pen. Or if I were teaching my students how to use a piece of software, I would use the Screencastify pens. So to get rid of this Screencastify ink, I tap on the eraser, and instead of erasing everything, I hit this square and it clears the screen. And I'm going to choose my mouse button so I can go back to my uh, start screen, and I'm going to now use my PowerPoint eraser to clear the PowerPoint ink. If I had a lot of PowerPoint ink that I wanted to get rid of, I can use the lasso tool to circle it all, and then hit the delete button. And those are ways we can clear out the ink. So another tool that we have here on the screen, Castify menu, is there is a um, camera here. And that camera allows me to embed a video of me right into my presentation. So if I hit that, here's the video, and I can drag that video anywhere that I want. So I can uh, discuss the topic with my audience and then you know, narrate my writing as I'm going through my slideshow. So I'm going to turn that back off. Let's clear my screen castify ink and I'll clear my PowerPoint ink. So just a quick sample lesson using PowerPoint. Again, I'm going to leave my screen castify selected on mouse that allows me to navigate through my slideshow and I'm going to use only my PowerPoint ink. So this is continuity. Now I'm going to tap the next slide. What does it mean to say that a function is continuous? I'm going to choose my red pen. Uh, simply put, it means that we can trace the graph without lifting your pencil. I'm going to trace this graph using my red pen, showing that it is a continuous graph. I never had to lift my red pen to draw it. And now when I go to my next example, as I'm tracing this graph, you see it's going down to negative infinity. To get to the other side of x equals 1, I have to lift my pen. And then I can start tracing it again. And I would tell students that this is an example of a continuous graph. And this is a discontinuous graph. And then the lesson would go on. Um, now I'll select my next slide. And we can talk about how I can trace. Then I have to lift. Then I can trace. Keep tracing. Lift. And we can identify intervals where the graph is continuous or not continuous. Uh, another feature I like about PowerPoint is I can say insert. I'm going to say new slide. 
And you see all these options of slides. There's one called blank. And whenever I choose blank, I think of it as a giant whiteboard that I can write on. So I go back to my draw menu and I can now say that this is my, my web whiteboard. And I can add as many blank slides as I want and we can completely, you know, hand write our lecture. Sometimes if I write too fast, I have to just go back and tap the pen. Um, but there's our blank slide. We can use the whole thing. Um, I really look at this as a replacement for Smart Notebook. If you're a Smart Board user, uh, this gives me basically a, a Smart Board style presentation. I have all of my uh, sorter slides on the left here where I can preload them with images and problems, and then I have my instructional space. So that's just a, a quick demo of how I use PowerPoint with Screencastify to do my lessons in the web. I can also use this to uh, share my screen if I'm doing a live video chat and do a live uh, tutoring session, and I can go through my notes and I can add blank slides to treat as whiteboards in the web and take individualized questions from my students and work them out live on the screen based on their questions. All right. I hope this is helpful. Uh, contact me if you have any questions and we can set up a, a video chat and see what's the best way to use these tools for your instruction.